Nga nung dili manta madato. Basig na si kagpaningkamot sa iyo kang mata, dugay ka matulog, nagapangita ka mga lain-laing diskarte para lang makaka-income ka but for some reason, wala gihapon ni mo na feel ang growth or progress sa imuhang finances. In this video, I would like to share three things, three reasons nga nung dili pata madato. No? And hopefully, na by the end of this video, mag-usaba itong huna-huna and it can also help us to one step closer sa ato ang dreams. No? Ma-achieve na to siya. The first one is, we are not or you are not valuable enough in the marketplace. You have to understand that in the world of business and finance, the bigger problem that you can solve, the bigger money that you're going to get. Diba? Mo na mapansin mo sa, sa employment, Nga nung mas dako man ang ginakita sa manager compared sa supervisor. Nga nung mas dako man ang gina-income sa supervisor compared mo sa rank and file employees. It's because the problem na ginasulbad sa manager is mas dako compared na to sa uban. Right? Kay kung sakali na ay sipyat sa baba, mas kinadili ang manager ang naghimo sa trabaho but he is the one managing it, damay gihapon siya because he's the person in charge. The second one is also connected to the first one, which is you're not investing in yourself. Pasabot sa you're not investing in yourself, they, I'm not referring to buying expensive things so that you would look like you're rich. No? Arong ingnon dato katanawon. What I'm referring to is investing in your abilities, in your skills, in your knowledge. Why do you think doctors invest so much time sa ilahang education just for them to become doctors? Why do you think mga lawyers, engineers, CPAs, diba, they went through a lot of education bago sila naabot diha. And when they reach that, dito sila nakadawat o mga trabaho, mga offers, and they also started their own thing, it's because when they invest in themselves, pag abot sa abilities, they can provide more value sa ilahang kliyente or sa katong tao na ilahang ginaserve. And the third thing is, you're also not financially literate. Basig lang, naaka sa stage ka that you're making at you're making good money. You just don't realize it na you're making good money. It's because bate ang imuhang financial management. Basig, wala ka nakahuna-huna on saon pag-invest. Dili ka kabalo on saon pag-invest. So you will end up working the rest of your life just because you are not financially literate. No? Kasagaran sa mga successful people that I know, speak, financially speaking, ang nahulog dyan sa ilaha is they have investments. They have a way to make money, usually sa ilaha mga negosyo, of course, but they also have money work for them. Pinaagi sa pag-invest nila sa real estate, sa other businesses, sa stock market, and whatsoever income generating assets na makahatag sa ilaha o cash inflow. I'm pretty sure daghan pa juga ayo mga lain reasons nga nung nanlisod ta maging financially free. So, question of the day is this. Para sa imuha unsa ang mga other reasons nga nung dili ta madato? Let us know your answers in the comment section.